हेलो गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम संतोष सिंह एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी व्हाट इज स्कूप जॉब एंड हाउ टू क्रिएट अ स्कूप जॉब सो लेट्स सी दीज थिंग्स वन बाय वन एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल सो फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू सी व्हाट इज स्कूप जॉब सो इफ वी वुड वांट टू इंपोर्ट न्यूली एडेड data in mysql database i am not supposed to import complete database every day then we should create a job and schedule that job for every day so create a job and that job should be scheduled so now this way we can create a job and we will see these things in detail in my next session but today only we see that what is scope job so we can create a job we can schedule a job we can specify a specific interval and after doing these things we can import newly written data so let's see the next things what is scope job scope job creates and saves the import and export commands scope job do the following operations these are the following operations which is done by scope job and what those operations first is the scope job create a scope job it list the all scope job and third it run or execute a scope job it so detail of a scope job and fifth is it delete a scope job it means by using scope job we can do these stuff means we can create we can list we can run we can so details or we can delete a scope job so let's see the first one that how to create a scope job so before seeing how to create a scope job let's see list all table of our dbms database how we can list all the tables of our dbms database in scope so this is the question and this is the answer we can list all the table of our dbms database by using list hyphen tables keyword as we have seen these things in my earlier session that by using list hyphen tables we can list all the tables of a particular database this is the example by using this example we can list the tables of this movie table we should write scoop space list hyphen tables space double hyphen connect space jdbc colon mysql colon double forward slash localhost slash movies this is the database name space double hyphen username space root space double hyphen password space my password and when we execute this statement then it will list the all tables of this movies database as these things written here when we execute above statement then scoop list all the tables of movies database so like this way we can list all the tables of a movies database but suppose that we do not want to write these things again and again so what we do so we write a scoop job so we create a scoop job and how we can create for creating scoop job we should write double hyphen create keyword this is the question how to create scoop job so answer is by using double hyphen create keyword we can create a scoop job this is the syntax for creating a scoop job and what is the syntax scoop space job space double hyphen create space job name space scoop statement one time we need to give this scoop statement and when we write this scoop statement and the name of scoop job so it will create scoop job with this statement and we can execute and we can run this scoop job so so this is the example in this example we are going to create a scoop job so how we can create a scoop job by using scoop space job space 
डबल हाइफन क्रिएट स्पेस लिस्ट टेबल स्पेस डबल हाइफन लिस्ट हाइफन टेबल्स स्पेस डबल हाइफन कनेक्ट स्पेस जेडीबीसी कॉलन माइस कॉल कॉलन डबल फॉरवर्ड स्लेस लोकल होस्ट स्लेस मूवीज स्पेस डबल हाइफन यूजर नेम स्पेस रूट स्पेस डबल हाइफन पासवर्ड स्पेस स्कूप पासवर्ड सो एज वी हैव सीन दीज थिंग्स इट मींस फ्रॉम लिस्ट हाइफन टेबल्स डबल हाइफन कनेक्ट टू हाइफन हाइफन पासवर्ड स्पेस दिस पासवर्ड so this is the example by this example we can create a scoop job how we can write first we write scoop space job space we can write create keyword it means we can write double hyphen create after that we will write the job name and here we write the job name as list table space the scoop statement as we write previously these things the same things we are going to write here here we write the same things and when we execute this statement then it will create a scoop job which name is list table so when we execute this statement then it will create one job which name as list table which can list the all tables of movies database to rdbms so like this way we can create a scoop job and you can put here any other statement here i am only going to list the tables and the place of scoop statement you can write here any statement here it means you can fetch any record of any table you can write here any sql statement you can write any where class with scoop statement so you can write these things which you want to do so like this way we can create a scoop job and in next session we will see that how we run how we execute how we delete or how we can see the detail about execute job so today we have seen that what is the scoop job and what is the purpose for creating scoop job and how we can create a scoop job so thank you so much thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel thank you so much